and a very good morning to the kids and let's continue we have started off this heading of animal tissues and we have discussed a little bit about the various types of mus muscular tissue present and today we'll be writing it the way it is asked in our exams this is for the muscular tissue and we are going to make three columns striated striated muscle then smooth muscle smooth muscle and of course cardiac muscle and all of them we are going to you can say we are going to differentiate or we are going to compare to begin with the first thing we are going to compare is about the location function and of course the structure first difference we are going to note on the basis of location i think this word is not visible on that side we are going to increase the columns width a little bit more and the first one to deal with is location and let's see about the location of striated or stripe as discussed previously also location of this muscle fiber is of course on the skeleton it is attached to the bones so therefore they are skeletal muscles skeletal muscles attached to bones and location of smooth muscle elementary canal elementary canal that means whole of the right from mouth to anus the whole tube we are considering here that there lies these smooth muscle fibers blood vessels blood vessels and of course iris of the eye iris of the eye in ureters
ureters are the tubes that carry urine from kidneys to be stored temporarily in the urinary bladder and last but not the least it is also present in the bronchi of lungs in the bronchi of lungs and the location of the cardiac muscle as the word itself indicates in the heart of course nowhere else So that goes for location. Now second, it ends up here. And now the second comparison point. There are basically three. So of course, after writing the second one, I'm going to rub the board. The second one is for after location. we are going to write down its function function skeletal muscles of course we know that they are voluntary muscles they are in our control voluntary muscles help in body movement and of course they help in body movement and in case of smooth muscles if this one is voluntary the next two goes for involuntary involuntary muscles and same we can write here also involuntary muscles so these two are basically involuntary and striated is voluntary and its function will be the movement of food here it is in elementary canal so accordingly we are writing the function here so the function is movement of food the second we have written for blood vessels that is arteries veins and capillaries that clearly means that it will be helping in contraction and relaxation contraction and relaxation and relaxation of blood vessels okay accordingly the contraction and relaxation of iris ureters bronchi the functions are there and in case of heart that is involuntary of course 
but the function is shows rhythmic contraction and relaxation shows rhythmic contraction and relaxation it goes on throughout our lives contraction and relaxation pumping out the blood for the whole body and note it down fast if you have not noted please make sure that you are taking a screenshot have you noted down for location everybody ma'am location and function both are noted now i'm asking everybody everybody have you written the first point location so that i can write down the third and the last point that is the structure the first point is written yes ma'am yes ma'am ma anybody is still yes, writing the first first point do let me know otherwise i'm rubbing it that means you have written so i am writing the third point here for its structure and try to note down fast because i'll be rubbing the lower side and i'll be drawing the diagram of the muscle fibers so that you can compare their structure also the question comes for five mark and that's the way they are going to ask you to compare and the third point of course will be for its structure striated muscle fibers also known as skeletal muscle okay and its structure will include alternate light and dark bands alternate light and dark bands or striations that is also known as striations they are long cylindrical long ma'am cylindrical long cylindrical unbranched and multinucleate unbranched and multi nucleate yes tell me somebody was asking something no okay then now we go, move ahead for smooth muscle smooth muscles of course long spindle shaped spindle shaped uni nucleate uni nucleate and unstriated there are no striations there are no light and dark bands here now cardiac muscles cardiac muscles cylindrical cylindrical 
branched cylindrical branched uni nucleate and once you have completed the lower part of it that means second point all of you have written the second point all of you have written the second point yeah. yes ma'am okay yes ma'am yes ma'am good good so i am just removing this so that i can put up the diagram of the corresponding muscle fiber here and the diagrams basically as they have been mentioned in our textbook they are very clear and can be drawn from there itself here i am drawing only one muscle fiber to make it clear for example light and dark striations and multi nucleated cylindrical in shape so this comes for the diagram here alternate light and dark bands alternate light and dark bands cylindrical in shape and more than one nucleus in a single muscle fiber and if you compare this structure with the smooth muscle fibers the smooth muscle fibers will have pointed end streamlined shape or spindle shape is this only wherein both the ends are pointed and it is uninucleate only one nucleus is present definitely no striations here no light and dark bands no light and dark bands at all so just the opposite of the striated or the skeletal muscles are these muscles which we call as smooth muscle fibers next to them cardiac in a way a mixture of these two voluntary involuntary in the function the cardiac muscle of course will be involuntary and of course the structure wise if you see this one is also uninucleate but of course with some slight addition to that that it is branched uninucleate uninucleate and of course in some of the books you will see that there are striations which are very very light and in some of the books you will see that there are no striations shown but basically the structure is the shape is spindle here but the skeletal one and cardiac cylindrical but instead of being cylindrical this one is branched and skeletal muscles are not branched and if you are comparing the function then both of these the smooth and the cardiac both of them are involuntary they are not in our control uni nucleate very very light striations not the dark striations as there are in the muscle fiber so if we see the muscle fiber we can compare very easily that in if the muscle fiber indicated indicated to us 
has clear cut dark and light bands it is supposed to be it is bound to be skeletal muscles only and if it doesn't have any striations it is smooth muscle fiber and of course looking like skeletal but nucleus only one per muscle fiber <clears throat> and if it is branched then that goes for the last that is the cardiac muscle fiber in your exam and in the questions they may ask as per differentiate or compare the three types of muscles or muscle fiber also if they are using it's all the way same muscle fibers only join together to form the muscles any questions in whatever we have understood today any question regarding any comparison or any diagram here any confusion is there you can ask me right now then i take it as yes that you have understood and yes ma'am yes that's yes, all from my side today yes good that's all from my side today and tomorrow we are going to wind up this chapter by understanding the last heading of it that is about the nervous tissue we'll be studying about neuron in detail so try to read and come prepared a bit happy learning kids take care